this engine out resealing the whole engine up really well and uh, we're gonna be putting it into a g35 keeping the shell and um, right now it doesn't have the front support radiator all that stuff it has a body kit that I haven't gotten yet but um, we will be putting it on right now it's a bit filthy as you can tell a lot of stuff here um, we're going to go ahead and take this back and clean it up real quick. And then also up top on the roof, it has some plastic dip. My buddy put some on there. So we're going to spray this down with a little bit of acid and uh, just hopefully it washes right away with a power washer. See what happens. So I'll see you back there. And uh, we're going to be doing a good bit of things on this car. So I might just make this a daily, get a whole spot for it. And drive it for a year or so because I do want to drive a car and not a truck for all the time so other than that guys enjoy this video more things coming out and uh, just trying to stay busy around here and try to enjoy it every day I can you know um, something I want to do I love doing it I want to build cars but uh, right now I'm kind of just been collecting them while I go because I get really good deals and I know a lot of people that are um, helping me out. So, uh, besides that, guys, let's get to this video. See you soon. down get all the dirtiness out of it and that's about it and do a quick little wash and try to get out of here within like 25 minutes or so so uh, other than that guys do this little short video the new car the new field outside in the door jams inside the car so um the next thing we're going to be doing is actually cleaning the inside out and that's not going to be today it's probably be monday or tuesday one of those two days i'm not 100 percent sure just yet but uh other than that guys come out a lot cleaner as you can tell so it's a lot more shine here you don't have that so much black mold on it so it came out pretty decent so not a horrible Classy tip. It's not really coming out. It's pretty rough. Um, I might have to use like one of those rubber wheels 
uh, for vinyls and stuff like that to remove. So I'm gonna see my brother can do that. And then we should be pretty straightforward after that's done. But, um, all right, let's go, uh, let's go ahead, go get this done park it and clean up for next time all right guys so now that we have everything here uh, cleaned up cleaning these windows they have a lot of uh residue from the uh tent so what we're going to be using is some um, glass cleaner and a razor blade to scrape this off really uh easily um i already started on one side over here on the driver's side so i'm going to show you that real quick how it comes out and um it comes out pretty decent so um you can see the difference. Here's the one side that's not done, and here's the other side that's done. So. Guys, here it is. Came out really clean. You can tell the difference compared to that one over there. You can barely see through it. And then there's this one right here. It's really clean, so let's go ahead and finish up the other one. All right, guys, so here, as you can tell, the door opens. There it goes. It's nice and clean. Got all the residue out. You can see it's a lot cleaner than it was before you weren't able to actually look into the car because it was really dirty. Now, Perfect. So right now we are at, we're actually going to be removing the seats. One issue that these three foot disease have or seats jamming up switch is not working the motor is not working so mine is completely jammed up um i know that the switch works i'm gonna see if i can get lucky and find a way to actually unjam it so let's go ahead and remove all right guys so check this out i finally got the seat out of the way um motor wasn't working it was jammed up on the track so it was a pain in the ass just to remove it but your seat is stuck on your 350z Remove these two 10 millimeters and you're good to go and just uh, move the seat forward. So other than that guys, let's go ahead, remove the other seats, remove the center console and remove the carpet because we're gonna take this out, vacuum it and power wash it and make sure it's 100% clean. And they will probably come back and spray it with some carpet paint and make sure it's all nice and clean again. And also, while we're here, we're gonna clean everything for the interior. As you can tell, I got these all cleaned up. I'm actually gonna go back through here, uh, brush it, but I'm gonna let it dry first. And then we're, we're gonna see how this actually turns out. If it's really clean, I'll leave it. If not, I might go back with some black uh, carpet dye and uh, go over it just to make it a little bit cleaner. And then after that, we're gonna put it back in the car, but also we're gonna wipe down the interior of this car before we put the carpet in and vacuum everything out that's in the bottom because it's pretty muddy as well. So. Um, other than that guys, let's wait a couple days for this to actually dry out and uh, I'll put it on the lift just so I can kind of drain all the water down instead of keeping it in, uh, in one spot. So let's go ahead and wait.
guys. So we are done on the inside and um, we got a vacuum as well on the bottom of the floors. And that should be it. And hopefully uh, we do that this coming up Monday. And um, now let me go ahead and clean this back trunk. And that should be the last thing. And I have a few wires for the subwoofers, grounds, and the signal wire that I gotta remove because I'm not gonna be putting subs in this car at all. That's gonna be the new daily plus the Silverado out back right there. So. sitting out here for like about a week now so let's go ahead drop that in there and then once it's in we're gonna vacuum it out and we should be good to go guys price quote on these seats i'm gonna try to redo the fronts or whatever it has to be done here to get them all fixed we're gonna be doing a few other things over here i still gotta finish putting up the last little panels which my buddy hasn't brought to me just yet but um there isn't many panels missing so it's just this back side um i think there's one in the back right here and up here there's one on each side and i think that should be it guys all right guys so we are done here we are done here with this car. Tears back in. I'm gonna actually get a price quote on these seats to get redone. So um, right now, let's go ahead and pull it out and park it, and we should be good. And then we're gonna be showing you here the it's truck I bought not too long ago. So that's the next thing as of right now. So you'll probably see that in the next video here, here soon. So let's go ahead and pull this out and park it. I want to daily this uh, this year, so I'm gonna plan to do that here next month and this ain't gonna be much nothing crazy just gonna be probably get the front end done put the body kit on put some nice wheels on it and um also get the roof cleaned up hopefully i can either wrap it or repaint it back to silver to this color um so we'll see what happens i'm not 100 percent sure just yet because i have a few other things to do all right guys so here we are unloading this thing Right now, this mud isn't helping me turning on this thing, so it kind of sucks. But um, we're gonna unload it here, put this one here. These two cars, the 240 and the SC 300, that's gonna probably be going out back over there with all the cars. And moving the BMW over here, put that, I got some wheels for it already. So this is my buddy's car now, not mine. So we're gonna get that done. We're gonna get this thing straight to hopefully here this month. And um, yeah, we have a few more projects coming along too. So this one's gonna have to get uh, sorted out. So I wanna get the whole suspension and all that stuff done. I wanna get the whole interior done and start doing some wiring. But besides that, let's not get into this. This one still drives and runs, um, just knocks like hell. Yeah, I remember the last video I put out, um, the thing's ticking really bad from the bottom end. So, um, I got the engine, I got majority of the parts for it already, just haven't got to it. I still got to get some machining done, and um, I got to order a few more parts to finish the build, but that's going to be a little bit down the road just because I have other things planned. But uh, besides that, let's go ahead, unload this. And
So I got stuck. This car was really low. Battery shot. I sort of made a fit with that battery. So got it running. Now let's go ahead and move the rest. And uh, this looks good luck, guys. So I guess that's it for that. Yes, I'm going to leave the car here, get a battery for it once I uh, move it again, and that should be it, guys. So let's hope this doesn't uh, get stuck again on the way down. I'm barely, barely in here. I'm barely stuck. So, perfect. Comes right off without no issues. So that should be it for this P52P video. Car's already cleaned up and ready to go. So I'm gonna be trying to find a drivetrain for this car. And hopefully I can find one uh, soon. I'm trying to daily this car. Um, so I don't have to drive this truck no more. This truck is a new daily that I've been having for the past uh, few months. Um, you're gonna see this build in the next video, most likely. Um, I have so much going on. I'm not as consistent with uh these videos so hopefully after this i can try to get back on track and get more videos out there for you guys but as of right now guys that should be it see you on the next one